Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. This should be the last video on my game here until it comes out. Or I guess I should say our game, guys. Times Illusion is my scripter and uh, he's a great help. He's a great guy and he's doing great work. So, our game should be coming out rather soon. This should be the last video on it. And before we get too far in, make sure you drop a like and drop a comment down below to help your boy get in that algorithm. So, what am I doing today, you may ask? Well, a couple things. There is currently, you choose which way you want to progress through the game. And this was a great idea in theory and in concept because who else is doing it? Not many people. And uh, I figured out why as we were implement implementing, I think, implementing, something like that. I figured out why people don't do it uh, while, you know, trying to implement it. So the main issue we're running into is with no clear progression in the game, well, if they were to pick forest instead of desert, then the shop wouldn't make sense. It'd be like, hey, here's your crates, and then it'd be like, hey, your next set of crates is over here. So it's it's a very weird progression, if that makes sense. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna kind of fix that in a way. We have a clear progression set out. I think I'm gonna put a bunch of rubble here, like a bunch of fallen rocks or something. And, uh, and then like a lock icon or something over it, uh, probably with GUI, but a bunch of rubble here. And then players, if you're not seeing this video, of course, will wonder, hey, how do I clear that? And it'll be auto cleared once you buy the door from over here. So that's going to kind of force you to go a certain progression line we have out. None of these doors will be available. I think it's going to be spawn, desert, cave, beach, lava, forest. I think that's kind of the progression we got. And then there's three more zones as well, but those will be coming out in updates, so we're all good for that. And the other thing I want to do, guys, I say this all the time in my rating fan builds, all right? And I just want to make it clear that the meshes in this game, aka the trees, were built two years ago, all right? Two years ago. So I'm giving myself a little slack there, but my biggest gripe uh, in most rating fan builds is it looks like things are free modeled, aka like they don't match. Some stuff is shade flat and some stuff is shade smooth. And my palm trees here are shade smooth. Okay, now once again, before we take these into Blender and try to fix them up, these were made two years ago. So there's probably a reason that it shaded smooth. And I, I, I see like some weird shading issues here and here. So I'm guessing... <laughs> I can't wait to see how I made this, honestly. So we're going to export it and import it into Blender, and I'll see you there. Oh, quick tip. Uh, make sure you grab it and set the um, the orientation to, z or the origin position to 0, 0, 0. So it's going to spawn in the middle of Blender, and you won't have to go looking for it. All right, guys, we're in Blender, and here is my tree. So first things first, I want to grab both pieces and just shade it flat, okay? I already think the bottom looks a lot better shaded flat. Uh, it does do this weird triangle thing. But that just happens when you import uh, back into uh, into Blender. And let's see what this top is doing here. So, oh my gosh. So, what I'm thinking happened... Um, let me do a rough sketch. I'll just grab a plane. And I'll grab, like, this line, extrude, this line, extrude, uh, extrude, and extrude. So, what I think happened... <laughs> this is a horrible leaf. Let me put that, like, down and this one down. I'm guessing... I added loop cuts, all right? So I went ahead, control R, and I added a loop cut on this side of the line and on this side of the line, and then I grabbed the vertice and drug it back. I'm thinking that's what happened, but now since, you know, your boy is a blender novice, okay, I'm still not that good, but I have learned a lot in the two years. If I press V, it will separate these, so I can do that. Uh, of course, I would add a loop cut here first, and then if I press V, as you can see, it would just separate to that. So I am going to have to make new leaves. And uh, fun fact, palm trees are my least favorite tree to make. Possibly because I've never made one that I'm proud of. But uh, we're going to definitely try today. So we're going to keep the trunk because I like it a lot. And we do need to make new trees though. So I'm going to go ahead, remake this top piece. This can stay here though. I like this. I like this a lot. Tree time, or I guess leaf time, dare I say. I'm going to go ahead and get a little concept throw together, and I'll be right back. All right, you know what? I think I'm going to share the process. So uh, let's go plane right here. Let's go to the, the top view real quick, something like that. Make sure we go into edit mode, control R. We're going to add a loop cut right here. And then let's say three of them, maybe four, probably four. So four loop cuts like this. I am going to be on vertices select mode. Grab my proportional editing. 
press G to kind of see how big this is. I want it to be pretty big, something like that probably. I'm gonna go ahead and move that up, um, about there I suppose. And I'm gonna move this side down a little bit, something like that. Now what I'm gonna do, um, I was hoping, I was hoping to have one sort of in the middle here, like a loop cut in the middle. So I'm gonna move this one. I'm gonna turn off proportional editing and move this vertice up a hair. And I just want to do that so I can flip over to this other orthographic view. Why is my blender? Ugh, I can't wait to get a new mouse. It's not even blender. I blamed blender, but it's definitely my mouse. I'm gonna go to the side here, flip back on proportional editing. And this, oh, let me do this. Um, G, lock it on the Z axis, make it a little bigger. And I just want to give it a cool little bend. Something like this, guys. You see, we already have that leaf shape. Oh, yeah, this is, this is going to be my best palm tree ever, I hope. All right, now I think I will just add in another loop cut here and a loop cut here. And then I'm just gonna use that little trick that I showed you guys earlier with V to separate these little vertices. So I don't wanna get too, too off track. Let me turn off my proportional editing. That might help me a little bit. And I'm just gonna make little cuts like this. We'll do one there, one here something like that and then we will do some over here as well this is also a very fat leaf excuse me so we may have to do a little something about that i'm um, not exactly skip one go over here maybe this can have a little cut because why not oh no that that leaf would not stay on it if that was cut there so i think i think that'll be okay we're gonna press a s and x give it a scale on this axis and now we have sort of a, a you know a leaf I'm still horrible at, at palm trees, it, it seems. I'm gonna grab these lines and move them back a hair. It's gonna make these uh, gaps in the leaves a bit more uh, pronunciated, I guess? I don't really know what the best way to uh, to say that would be. And then this one, I'll grab the vertice. Perfect. Same with over here, just to grab the vertice. And same with here. So something like that. Looks like a decent leaf. Uh, definitely just decent, though. I'm not overly proud of it or anything. Let's move this back because we're going to be connecting it with the tree. So it doesn't need to be too sharp there. And let's turn on proportional editing. See how big this is. Let's make it a little smaller here. And I think I want to scale the center. So now it has a little more shape to it. Looks pretty all right. This vertice could definitely get slid down a hair because it's like just real sharp. And we don't need them to be super sharp. I think something like this works. Could probably use a cut in this too, though. All right, just like that, we're gonna add a solidify modifier, and I'm gonna make it pretty thick, actually. Like, like probably like this. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but, but pretty thick for sure. Something like this, I'm thinking. Just like a nice dense leaf. Let me apply that. Set origin to geometry, just so it's gonna be real nice to work with. Move this up here, and this definitely has to be scaled up quite a bit. Whoa. All right, guys. So I'm gonna put it like this. Rotate it on this axis to bring it down a bit. Something like that. And I don't know exactly if I want to make them like more sporadic than they used to be or the same. But uh, for now, I'm just going to get them all placed. So we got four. I'm going to duplicate all of these. Shift click and then shift D. I'm going to rotate those like 45 degrees or so like this. Scale them down. And I'm going to bring these ones up a little bit or even down. We'll go down. And then individually, I'm going to set these up uh, a little weird. So... This one's gonna be like aimed up a little. This one over here could be aimed down a little. Stuff like that. And then we have to move them just a hair to kind of uh, make them mesh well. And this guy is, is messed up. So it'll kind of flow over. That could probably go even more. Cause nothing about palm trees is, uh, you know, uniform. Bring that guy down. And honestly, I could put another set of these, the big ones. Shift D, rotate. Oh gosh, let me lock that view. Rotate a little bit and then scale these down to the smallest and put those on the top top like so. And now I'm just gonna have to rotate all of those as well. I'm gonna press Control J to join all of these together. Um, oh, yikes. Okay, let me do it like this then. Just pressing L to quick select everything, P and selection. All right, so we got all that joined together and let's see what else I wanna do. I said I wasn't gonna shade smooth, but I don't know if this triangle shading is gonna come back with this. So I think I'm gonna shade smooth and then auto smooth and hope that that just kind of, ooh, it is auto smooth. Um, it might break when you kind of bring stuff back in. So I am gonna keep that at shade flat. I already think this looks so, so much better. I'm going to re-import this to Roblox and get all of our trees replaced. Damn. All I want to say, damn. Guys, two years modeling progression right here, boys. We had this in the game. 
which uh, just didn't match anything. And then now we have this. Uh, oh, we have a, a few floating leaves. I'm going to have to go back and fix those. But I do think this is like my favorite ever palm tree that I've made so far. Definitely the most proud of it. I am going to fix these leaves and then put it back in the game. I'll get everything replaced and hopefully we'll be on to the rubble. All right, guys. So I officially replaced all of the palm trees. They're now flat shaded and uh, the leaves just look so, so much better than they used to. So definitely a good change i am gonna grab all of them and move them down just a hair to make sure that uh if anything is floating um it doesn't look like it but you know it's very close here so if anything's floating i'm just gonna move them down just so now nothing will be floating above the ground because that looks very unprofessional i also changed all of them over here as well i think the game looks a lot better already and that was a very easy fix last thing to do is make some sort of rubble spill over here so this is no longer going to be a paywall I'm just uh, gonna, gonna kind of delete that. <laughs> and I need to make some sort of a rubble spill. So I guess, uh, I guess wish me luck. You know what? I was actually just thinking, what if I made like a rubble spill is cool because it's like, oh, how does that work? But a lot of people might think it's just a decoration and not actually a door that will open at some point. So what if I just made it like one of those fancy locked doors, like what they do at the top of the pet sim to get the Dominus egg? I think I'm gonna do that instead just so people know it will become open at some point. Uh, I just feel like with the rubble wall, thinking about it, people might not know that it's openable and they might just think it's decoration. So I'm gonna go with one of those big, huge doors with a lock on it. All right, guys, so I think that will be good for the doorway. I may or may not add chains kind of holding the lock on just to give it more of a dramatic look. Also, I reused the wood from the dock right over here. I just grabbed one. Now that I'm thinking about it, I could have just grabbed the dock and took off these wooden places, but no, I, I grabbed one of these and, uh, and then, yeah, I, I made this door. So I think it looks good. It also matches the game aesthetic. I love the new palm trees. Definitely the favorite ones I've built so far. And other than that, I think this is the last video on Super Slayers before it releases. So if you enjoyed and you're hyped for the game, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.